Yo, what's going on people? Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase your performance, get FPS boost, fix all your problems with Genshin Impact. I hope this video helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is create a restore point and this is a really important step. Simply search for create a restore point, go to system protection and in here, look up for your local disk C or any drive with says system over here. Simply click on create and name it Genshin. Now I highly recommend you guys to not skip this step because if anything goes wrong you can always restore every changes back to normal. Once it's done, simply close it and let's proceed with step number two. That is search for background apps. And in here, make sure to disable let run apps in the background. Once you're done with that, simply search for game mode. And in here, make sure to enable game mode so you get better performance while you're playing game. Then over here in the related settings, you will see your graphic settings. Simply click on it and then make sure that hardware accelerator GPU scheduling is turned on. Then click on browse and then go to the download location of your Genshin Impact. For me, it's in here. So just simply click on launcher.exe, click on. And once you are in here, simply go to options and then select high performance. Click on save. Once you're done with that, simply search for control panel. And in here, search for power. Go to power options and make sure that your PC is on high performance or ultimate performance. Once you're done with those steps, simply download Genshin Impact FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. You can download it from my website or from my Discord server. Once you've downloaded and extracted the FPS Pack, you'll find in 4 folders. First one is Registry Files, Impact Priority, Program Files and PC Cleanup. Simply go with the first file, you'll all You'll find 4 registries in here with the revert settings to all of those. Simply disable system cache, increase CPU priority, lower input lag and PC optimization. Run all 4 of these by simply right clicking and merging them. And if merge option is not there for you guys, simply double click on it. Once again, if anything goes wrong, you can always revert these settings back to normal. Then open up the second folder, that is the Genshin Impact Priority. And in here, you'll find 3 files. First one is above normal, second one is high priority and third one is normal priority. You can simply go with normal priority or high priority while you're playing the game. Third one is programs and in here you'll find MSI mode tool v3. Simply run it as administrator. And once you are in here, you have to find your GPU. This one is my GPU so simply from undefined go to high and then click on apply. Then simply close it. Last one is the PC cleanup and you'll find in two files here. First one is disk cleanup and second one is cache cleaner. Simply open disk cleaner, select your local disk C, click on OK and then scroll down and delete all of these unwanted files from here. Simply click on OK, delete files. This will optimize your drives to perform much better. Next one is cache cleaner. Simply double click and run this file and that will clean up all your cache. Once you're done with that, you're done with the FPS pack. Now all that is left is open up your Epic Games launcher and then finally launch Genshin Impact and proceed with the in-app settings. Alright guys, so once you are in game, simply press your escape key and then go to settings. Once you are in here, go to graphics and then from graphics quality, leave it to normal. Scroll down for your display mode and I highly recommend you guys to play it on your native resolution because that's how you're gonna get the best FPS. FPS, I highly recommend you guys to leave it at 60, but if you have a very, very low end PC, then set it to 30 as it will save you many FPS. Then for VSync, I highly recommend you guys to turn this thing off as it will save a lot of FPS. Render resolution, you guys can go with 0.8, shadow quality, lowest, visual effects, low, SFX quality, low environment detail you guys can keep it low anti-aliasing turn it off volumetric fog turn it off reflections turn it off motion blur turn it off bloom you can leave it to on crowd density turn this to low this will also save a lot of memory anisotropic filtering i highly recommend you guys to keep it within 1x or 2x whichever works best for you then service catering leave it to medium or off doesn't really matter a lot 
Now these are the best settings that will give you the maximum FPS. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. Once again, we are reaching really close to 60,000 subscribers. So consider hitting that red subscribe button down below. It really helps me out a lot. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.